Well, here we are at my friend Patty's brand new townhome patio. And as you can see, it's uh, fairly bland. Uh, there's not a whole lot going on here. We've got a big old blank wall. We've got a garage. We've got views that need to be taken care of, screened from sight. And I think before we go any farther, I'd like to bring Patty out here and kind of get an idea of what she wants to do back here. And then we can go from there. So, hey, Patty, you want to come out here and join me? Sure. So as we were talking earlier, yes. you wanted to add a little bit of interest to this wall, correct? I do. It's very blank. All right. And we've got the garage wall over there. And what mm -hmm. was your kind of insight for that? I would like to have something that's blooming so I can see it from the inside. I'm mm -hmm. also really thinking of a water feature. I love that idea to get Good. the sound of the water and some movement mm -hmm. out here. And then I notice you have a few uh, not so wonderful views. City views. City views. These are city views. Okay, so we can talk about some, some possible <laughs> recommendations for that. And then last, yeah. to get you some nice color up here, we'll talk about the pots. Well, let's get moving. I've got some things to show you. Oh, good. All right, so here's the, uh, the garage wall. And I liked your idea of having a water feature here. So something centered in the wall. I see you've already got the electrical set for it. Yes. So there, there are plenty of uh, fountains out there that are just standalone pieces. You plop it in place, you plug it in, add some water, and boom, you're in business. Good. Now also, you talked about you liked clematis. So I think a low wide trellis on either side of the fountain there, and you could grow your purple jackman or some of the rich burgundy or dark reds against this light wall would look really nice. I do like the jackmans a lot. Yeah, and they bloom for a long time. They do. They They're do. beautiful. And in front of that then, to kind of hide, the, they, they usually get kind of naked ankles after a while. Yes, they you know do. What I mean, they look kind of awkward. So we could put some um, Carol Mackey Daphne on either side because they would give you some leaf interest all summer long. They hold their leaves really late mm -hmm. and they bloom really early and give okay. you some fragrance. That sounds good. I like the height of those too. Yeah, they just make a nice roundy moundy there. Yeah. And then in front, just maybe have some, some dwarf ornamental grasses. Mm -hmm. and, then, and then I know you like ground covers, so you could kind of put your favorite ground covers I in. I do. I just want this all green. The next deal is with, with this fence and some of your views over here. When I look out the windows, I want to see something green. Okay, because one option would be to put some, some small flowering trees here to give you some shade in the summer, and it would, it would give you a screen in the summer, but not in the winter months. But it would give me shade too, and if the bark is pretty, and there's plenty of things that then you can that use could there. still be interesting in the winter. Absolutely. So some small flowering tree, a small flowering tree in that area would be just fine. Or if you wanted something evergreen, some upright junipers along there. I know that's kind of cliche to do that, but it would give you that screen and it would give you the evergreen. They work. They work. <laughs> <laughs> and then finally over here, we have this big blank wall. So I'm going to bring a couple of things over to show you what I kind of had in mind. Good. All right. Thank you. A dark pot in front of a light wall, oh, so it that pops out. Up. A nice trellis that's narrow enough at the base mm -hmm. to fit into the pot. And then for some added interest, maybe a couple of these, one on either side of the trellis uh -huh. with some pots of flowers. Sure, something maybe trailing. Something trail, something vine up here like Black Eyed Susan Vine. Mm -hmm. You could do something like that real easily. Okay, I like that. All right, and last but not least is your pots of color. Now I brought you a bunch of flowers and we're going to pot up some pots. How's Good. that sound? I do like that. Let's get busy. They're over here. So Patty, here's some uh, pots I've laid out for your approval. What oh, we started with in this bigger pot is a tomato in the center. We're going to be mixing some flowers and edibles Good. together. So we're going to put a cherry tomato in here because they start early. Oh, yes. You know, you're, yeah. you're pretty much guaranteed. And when, one thing I like to do in this situation, I'm going to plant this little uh, black-eyed Susan black -eyed vine Susan. with the tomato. Okay. So that they grow up together and you get some color in there with your tomato. Good idea. All right, and then we've got our tomato cage all ready to go in here. That's a really good idea. I never thought of that before. So that's all set for you. And then around the side, I've got lettuce, some nice red sails lettuce, and you can plant those right around the edges here. Uh huh. And then some, some edible violas, little Johnny Jump Up type violas can go around the edges there. And then on the other side, I just went with straight flowers. You've got some Gerbera daisies, some yellow marigolds, which again are edible flowers. Yes, they that are. That you can use. 
Here's a new sun coleus that can take some sun, which you'll get out really, here. Really? Instead of just all shade? Instead of just oh, shade, nice. which is really kind of yeah. cool. That's nice. And then a trailing potato vine over here will kind of trail out and give you some color and kind of goes with all those colors. Perfect. And on this side, we use some of the same colors, just nice, vibrant. This acts like almost a baby's breath. And then a diacea over here, some pink some pink color there to go along with the euphorbia, this dark sweet potato vine, and a bright geranium. Well, these are beautiful colors. With the and they'll all vine. work together in your environment here where you're mm -hmm. going to get a lot of sun. Well, there and will all be you'll a lot need to sun. do is to uh, supply some fertilizer pretty regularly. I'd recommend about once a week. All right. So how do you like mm -hmm. this so far? I like it. I like it a lot. Well, terrific. The colors are beautiful. Well, thank you for letting us come in and invade your space today. Mm -hmm.